Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. Today we have the Pixel 6 right here and we're going to be talking about five top reasons to buy the Google Pixel 6. And right now I do have that Parallax case allergy case on here, but you can also, you know, put a skin on this thing. It can, you can put the lime green. This it does have the lime green, seafoam green with the black, you know, strip going across it. And then we do have the, the white on the back. We also do have all black material right here, which is actually metal, which feels cold to the touch in the hand if you're in a cold, like if you put it right next to the window and it's open, you will feel that at nighttime and then in the night when you go to grab it. Uh, type C as well, but we don't have a headphone jack on here, no expansion of the storage either, but we do have dual speakers as well. But I'm gonna talk about the top five reasons to buy the Google Pixel 6 in 2021, and it's gonna be 20, 2022 real soon, but hopefully you guys can find any use and value to this video. And I do also have the Guardian case with this guy, which is a really nice case. I'll make sure to leave both links down below, but this is a really nice clear case. I'll leave, make sure to leave the video right here and here so you could check those out as well. But let's just jump into the top five reasons to buy the Google Pixel 6. Now, the first reason to buy the Google Pixel 6 is gonna be the price versus performance ratio. Now this is a, a phone that is about 599 plus change and you can get it at a really low value, really good price point, really good uh, you know, um, price as well for the, for the price that this thing has to offer as far as what it's gonna give you long-term and it's gonna give you some really good things that I'll get into so make sure you watch to the end of the video. But the price is by far the main reason why you can get it and you can get it on any carrier unlocked. So not only can you get it at a really good price at $599 versus some of its competitors, but you can also get it unlocked, which is pretty cool, meaning you could basically use it on your phone carrier as well. And it does have that 5G network. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely compatible with 5G. So it's pretty cool that they do have that to offer. So I guess the price and the fact you can get it unlocked and you get the 5G is really cool on here. Now the next reason I think you should buy the Pixel 6 right here is the performance that you're going to be getting on the Tensor chip. It's also coupled with 8 gigabytes of RAM. It has extremely smooth frame rate and um, it's just going to be really smooth when you're going to be gaming and playing PUBG and things of that nature. So because this chip is on the Google Pixel 6 Pro, it's pretty much going to be equal performance to the Pro because it has the same chip, but it is coupled with the Arm Mali G, Mali, uh, the Arm Mali G78, which is going to be, you know, giving you eight gigabytes of RAM in addition to that uh, GPU for the graphics as well. But this phone will rock the proximity sensor, light sensor, accelerometer, as well as the gyroscope barometer and magnometer as well. So you're pretty much gonna be getting all the sensors on this guy as well, but you won't get it, you won't get like a cooling system, but it doesn't actually get too warm in the hand. So let me just show you what the gaming performance looks like real quick on the uh, temperature chip which is gonna be really fast when overall performance and stuff like that. So I hear somebody talking, let me mute that out. And um, you know, the gaming performance looks really good, really smooth on here. It's just gonna be really um, sick. You're gonna have the advantage pretty much over everybody. Let me, let me lock in on him. It's, it, the phone actually locked because of my Wi-Fi. So let me just restart that. All right, so now I'm just using it on the 4G right now. So this is the actual, the 5G, my bad. And then, so let me just see how this performs on the 5G networks. So just really quick performance, everything like that is gonna be really solid. And you're not gonna really complain when you're gaming on here. So the phone is getting a little bit hot in the back, right? But that's just to be expected because all phones do pretty much get hot, but I could feel it heating up on the sides as well as the back. So the first reason is the price, second reason is performance, and the third reason is the cameras. And I'm gonna show you some samples from the camera right now so you guys can see some of the samples that I did get in 4K60 and stuff like that. So I will show you guys some of the photos, the samples that I was getting. And, Overall, the cameras did perform really cool, really snappy as well. The phone did look really nice when it was shooting in 4K 60 and things like that. So I was pretty much enjoying it. Now the phone will get, get kind of warm, will get kind of hot when you game on here, but even when you record in 4K 60, it's gonna get hot. So I just wanna recommend that you put a case on the back of it. But when it comes to the cameras, we are getting those really nice cameras, 50 megapixel Samsung camera, as well as a wide angle 12 megapixel camera, which um, 
the 50 megapixel can go as far as 1.85 you know what I'm saying the focal lens and then this was this is the it's like the aperture 1.85 and then that's the size of the camera and then for the wide angle is 2.2 so it's going to let a lot of light in it's going to be able to record in night mode with the night mode as well as the laser autofocus which is pretty cool right so that's pretty much the the, the main selling point of those two cameras on the back the pro does have the telephoto camera but we on the front we do have the eight megapixel camera so that's the third reason is the overall cameras right so the next reason is pretty much the build because this is a really unique build that no other company has came up with we got the, sh the camera strip as opposed to like a box or a circle or you know a square or something like that this is the camera strip and this looks really nice when you're looking at it on the google pixel 6 it's going to be a really solid strip of cameras to use you get the flash on there a couple with the 50 megapixel and the 12 so it's just going to be a solid combination of cameras 8 megapixel on the front as well so you know it's really cool so i definitely like that fact that they did squeeze in features like you know wireless charging at this price which the google pixel 4a didn't have so you do get wireless charging on here you can also do like the reverse charging and charge up a pair of headphones as well so that's another really cool feature that's the fourth reason overall so definitely the price as well as the uh, you know performance and then the cameras and then the overall build as far as the internals that they did put in this guy it's just definitely a really solid device overall when it comes to the the price to performance ratio and just like everything of that nature then the last thing is the battery life on here i've been getting some really crazy battery life on here and it will last me pretty much a whole day i did start charging it up just a few minutes ago so i don't really have like a you know I, I can't really show you except for like screenshots or something like that but just take my word for it you will get through a whole day on here when it comes to the performance and it does give you adaptive battery mode battery saver battery usage and it will show that i did charge up the device like most recently right here so i did charge up the device right there in that last strip but out of the the time that i was using it and the time that i was using it i was able to get a lot of battery squeezed in from this thing so i usually get about i would say more or less like uh you know five to six hours screen on time maybe seven maybe seven um tops depending on what i'm doing with this thing but that's only if i'm looking at like email right or like you know light gaming but nothing too crazy but you know those are my top five reasons why i do like the google pixel 6 and the top five reasons you should buy the google pixel 6 in 2021 and going into 2022 right but if you did find this video helpful make sure to leave a comment make sure to hit the like button show your support and appreciation by hitting the bell icon as well as getting subscribed and notified for more videos and i'm gonna get right back with you later crew peace